Hi everybody, this is Bill Griffin from Griffin Motion. We're here in our uh, testing lab. In front of you here right now, I have the our 300 millimeter wafer stage. It's a high vacuum XY stage with an integrated Z axis on top of it. Uh, in its current configuration, it has actually 320 millimeters of X and Y travel. And the Z axis is capable of up to around 27 millimeters, but we've got it limited to shorter stroke for this particular application. All three axes are driven by ball screw brushless servo motors. Uh, I'm going to take off the cover here so you can look at that. This is a precision ground, um, high precision preloaded ball screw. Uh, it has a two millimeter lead per revolution and a zero backlash ball nut by ball oversize. So in other words, they use balls that are a little bit too big so that there's no backlash when we reverse directions. That allows us to tune the servo loop very tight and do nanometer position. So to talk about some of the performance uh, requirements for this stage, uh, our customer really needed plus or minus two microns of accuracy full travel over the 320 millimeters. Um, we were able to do that, no problem. The customer also required a repeatability of 500 nanometers and we were able to test and prove that as well. All the encoders have a native resolution of a four micron signal period that can be interpolated in the control electronics down to sub nanometer. This application had a, a very tight stability requirement. The customer wanted to hold position to a couple of nanometers for an extended period of time. Uh, we were able to, to get the stage tuned properly to hold plus or minus uh, about two and a half nanometers in, in any location on the XY stage. Uh, we also tested Z for stability and we were able to do the same. We have a simulated payload. When we uh, developed the stage with the customer and took, up, took in all the uh, specifications uh, for their application, we, uh, we determined exactly what their payload was and we uh, made a simulated payload for testing. So we did all of our laser testing with the payload on it. We also um, put in counterbalance springs down here that pull the wedge out to help support the load and take some of the, um, the load off the motor. This helps reduce heating in the vacuum chamber and uh, it's very critical to nanometer position. Special attention has been uh, paid to uh, the motor sizing and the friction in the system to reduce heating. Uh, one of the problems uh, that we've learned over the years is if you have heat sources in vacuum, it's very hard to remove. So we made sure that all the motors are overrated for their application, so the heat generation is very low. We assist the customer in selecting vacuum feed-throughs, and we build all the in-vacuum cables and out-of-vacuum cables uh, to help them get the stage running quickly. And typically, we would, we would help specify D sub 9 vacuum feed-throughs and D sub 15 vacuum feed-throughs that are readily available through many vacuum suppliers. Here's what you're looking at here is our simulated feed through. We didn't need to go through the expense of, of buying real feed through, so we created some that simulate it. This way we can test all the cables in one setup and do all of our testing with all the proper cabling to make sure that there's no problems with our, our wiring and our, all of our feedback signals. Another thing worth talking about are our D-sub back shells. Uh, we, we really love this Teflon cable that we found uh, that works well in vacuum but we haven't been able to find a good D-sub back shell to properly strain relieve it. So we designed our own and uh, created it for vacuum and we clean these parts just like the rest and they work really well. In this particular application, we've created a, a customer extension cable. The customer requested conductors at the top of the stage to interface with their wafer chuck. So we routed the customer cable with our own cables for our feedback and motors. Uh, this way, the they will not have any problem routing the cable or having it get caught in the chamber. All the parts have been cleaned and prepped for vacuum. All the hardware is vented so as not to trap any air to make pumping down uh, effective. All the lubricants used throughout the stage are low vapor pressure vacuum rated lubricants. They have very low total mass loss and uh, they don't offer any source of contamination. Uh, all plastics that are inappropriate for vacuum have been removed from the stage. 
Creating a high precision positioning uh, system is not just about the stage. It's making sure that we've got proper controls, proper setup, proper environment. We help with all that. We'll ask a lot of questions when you come to us for your application and try and find out what kind of environment you have to make sure we select the right hardware for your application. We have a lot of knowledge of a lot of different control suppliers that offer the performance needed for high precision positioning. Uh, this particular stage is running from ACS. We also have experience with Delta Tau, Galil, and a variety of other controls manufacturers. We can help you integrate, set up, tune, and <clears throat> even some application programming. 